So we are at day, uh, call it day one and a half at these early stages where I've taken one uh, dose of chemo and have been hit twice by the radiotherapy. Now, I didn't get a great night's sleep last night, so I'd say that's more to do with why I'm feeling so knackered, but nonetheless, I'm feeling knackered at the moment. But uh, I need to train for the marathon, and uh, apparently you need to tr exercise as often as possible while on chemo, so I'm gonna listen to both, even though I do not want to do anything right now. I'm feeling very lousy. And my legs are like um, cinder blocks, so. This is how you flush out a buildup of lactic acid. Any kind of a, an object will work. So a rolling pin, you can spend money on uh, sports equipment that's specifically designed for this, but I mean, you know, anything that will uh, have a smooth surface area and try to put it over clothes if you need to get a, um, uh, spandex spandex tights if you have those like to keep yourself warm if you have them put them on they work really well and then no real trick to it you just move it up and down use its angles as an advantage so get in with the corners and oh, just do that if you really want to get it done get a super friend to come in and get them to do it for you because your body can't help but um, hold back on how much pressure you put in. Also the angle, it can't really get the just the right angle. It can get close but not perfect. And you naturally don't want the pain that you're inflicting upon yourself. So, you know, get one of your housemates or you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, etc. Very intelligent pet chimp. And generally the rule of thumb is that you always, when massaging for sports, or in general I think, you always push towards the heart, but you know, this pulls up my shorts, so um, it's just more efficient to do it this way. And it doesn't make a huge difference, think of it like 5% difference at most. <laughs> yeah, do it on both sides. And try to find an angle where you are not actually using the muscles because if you use the muscles <coughs> imagine it like a oh fuck, there it is imagine it like one of those uh sausages that are full of um cookie dough sell them in america more so than in the uk and ireland <coughs> but i'm sure you know them anyway and imagine squeezing that from the bottom like that and how much it would squeeze out or toothpaste but a tub of toothpaste imagine how easy it is to squeeze out when the toothpaste but thing is uh, is loose and uh, squeezable versus if it was to come in a glass you know, or something solid you squeezing this is not going to make the toothpaste come out so when your legs are tense they're holding the lactic acid inside the muscle so you have to try and uh, make your leg longer i don't you can't really see that but my leg is long and relaxed as possible and that way you're able to get deeper in and flush out that lactic acid. <clears throat> now, that's all I can really get a good angle on at the moment. My calves are fine, so I'm not going to bother with them. It's all just just here because I played, a, I played a match of touch rugby before. Um, on Sunday, because during the chemo I won't be able to do it again, so I just kind of took my opportunities to try and... Do something fun before I couldn't. Terrible idea, and I'm suffering for it now. So, second one, getting into foam rolling. If you haven't heard of foam rolling before, this is a great way to warm up both for, oh, both for uh, warming up and cooling down, both for, um, it physically warms up your um, muscular tissue, and then also it helps flush out a buildup of lactic acid. <clears throat> and the more weight you can put on whatever area you're targeting the better the hardest one for me personally is um the it band which goes down the side of your leg which you almost can't stretch without some sort of a tool and what you do for that this angle is poor but you know i'm just working with what i have bring one knee up 
bring the foam roller underneath. So I need one leg up because I'm just too heavy and can't take the pain. And then roll up. If you have something like I have my bed here, you can take a little bit more weight off and you can get the right angle. Ah, ah, ah. Sometimes you can't get the angle because it's too, too painful. So you kind of, if I didn't have the hand, I would have to just go past it too quick. And it would defeat the purpose. Or you can hopefully see it there, that I'm doing the same thing with my toes, where I'm just keeping them slightly touching the ground, taking a little bit of weight off because I'm too much of a wimp to take the full amount of pain. And then, switching over. And again, you can do this as a warm-up and a cool down. It's not like, uh, like stretching where you should only do a certain type of stretching called dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretching being that you flick your leg up and down to simulate a movement rather than hold the pose like so. But uh, foam rolling is pretty much, well it's not pretty much, but it's, uh, it's similar either side. So now I'm just gonna go out for a trot. I'm gonna keep it light. Most of its reason is to, uh, as I've said, try to just flush out the buildup of lactic acid because it's Tuesday today and when I was playing it was Saturday so it should be done by now but because I haven't played uh, touch rugby in a while I've been running I, I don't run the same way playing touch rugby it's all stop start sprint go backwards and um, so it's different muscles it's mostly the hip flexors and definitely more the quads then uh, normally it will be my caps because they are <coughs> They are the muscle that's being used the most because they are constantly just keeping the, the bounce in the upper body. Whereas when you're changing angles and stopping and restarting, it's more about the power of the increase in speed that comes from your calves. Hey, that's the 5k over and it is shit. It is absolutely shit. Anything above 25 mi uh, minutes, if you're male, is a disgrace. If you're trying to break a fucking world record in less than two years, it's worse. So, that was a 5k. And <clears throat> the pace, or the time that I would need to have done that in, and then repeat it, uh, let's see nine times slightly less than nine times like 8.9 times in a row without taking a break which I really needed would be uh, 21 minutes 15 seconds that's how fast I would have to do just the 5k alone <clears throat> and I'm not even close to that and that's the most basic step possible so as you can probably tell by the tone of my voice Ian is not a happy bunny and I don't give a shit that um, I've started chemo and I didn't sleep well last night. Those are, those are just excuses. And I mean, there's gonna be a million opportunities for a million different excuses when I'm actually running the race, as well as when I'm training. So I'm very annoyed that no progress at all has been made since I started running, which was about a month ago. <laughs>